draw with me the muscles of the face. Let's move on to the muscles around the mouth and lips. We can divide them into two main groups, the dilators and the constrictors. First, the dilator muscles. We have the levator labii superioris aliquinasi, which lifts both the upper lip and the side of the nose. Then the levator anguli oris, which raises the corner of the mouth. The zygomaticus major and minor pull the upper lip up and outward. The buccinator is a key muscle for blowing, chewing, and keeping the cheek firm. The risorius pulls the corner of the mouth outward and slightly backward. It's often considered the smile muscle, especially for a wide grin. The depressor anguli oris pulls the corners of the mouth downward. The depressor labii inferioris pulls the lower lip down and outward, giving the expression of disgust. The mentalis consists of two small muscle bundles located in the chin on either side of the midline. It helps raise the chin and the lower lip. Lastly, we have the platysma, a broad, thin muscle that covers the front and sides of the neck. This muscle is used in expressions of fear or tension when the neck tightens and the lower face pulls downwards. Now the constrictor muscles. The main one is the orbicularis oris, the muscle that surrounds the mouth. It allows us to close the lips, pucker them, and it plays an important role in both speech and chewing. The second is the compressor labii muscle, which helps with suction. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like more information, visit Akivi.